Hey gardeners, this is Andy with Get You Wellies. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to actually try tasting these microtoms. So join me as I try that. But first of all, why don't you um, get your wellies? Meet me in the garden. So today's the day we finally get to pick some of these micro toms that we've been growing uh, for about two and a half months now. And we're going to have a look at these tomatoes and I'm going to taste test them and tell you what I think they taste like. Um, so let's find a bowl and we'll pick some of these tomatoes real quick. So the first thing I notice is that these tomatoes do vary in size quite a bit and I'm gonna show you how big they are here in a minute. These have all been red for several days so I'm trusting that they're ready now for us to try. So I'm picking some of the I say bigger, that's a relative term here. Uh, let's pick one that's a little smaller, but also red. And we'll have a look and see what kind of size they actually are. Okay, that should be a good start. Let's have a look at those. So for the purposes of showing you the size of these tomatoes, I put this little tape measure on here so let's move some across so we can see how big they are. So they vary in size a little bit, but we're looking at pretty much half an inch up to an inch in diameter roughly. So that's the size you can expect. So this is like somewhere between a currant and a cherry type tomato. Now this tomato I know for a fact was the first one uh, to turn red so I know it's mature I think I'm actually going to save seeds from this one and a couple of the others I did mention on one of the previous videos micro toms are very expensive um, the germination rate is good but you're looking at about 50 cents a seed if you get what the seed company tells you you're going to get fortunately we got a lot more seeds in the packet than we were expecting or they were required to give me a minimum of 10 it was actually i think 25 in the packet but seed saving is a good thing to do especially if you're paying kind of premium prices for the seeds so we'll save seeds from this one um these other two a nice and red uh, so we're gonna taste test on this one so let me cut into it and we'll take a look at it first okay guys so let me take my knife here and let's cut into this and see what it looks like skin not super tough uh, some seeds but not a whole lot a little fleshier on this side um, but fairly well balanced looking tomato. Let me zoom in on that. Let's take a closer look. Um, we can see a reasonable number of seeds, so, um, we'll get those, uh, out of the other tomato. Let's, let's have a taste of this and see what it's like. So, pretty good balance of uh, sweet, slightly tart. Um, to be honest, not a phenomenal tomato at all, but it's a decent tomato. I mean, I think if you are looking to get uh, tomatoes in the winter time, not a bad way to go. So. Here's a little one. Let's have a look inside of this. 
Um, so not a whole ton of seeds in this one, uh, but we're going to eat this one too. Let's see if that's about the same. This one is smaller, so let's see. Yeah, the tastes are really about the same. Balance, not phenomenal. Of course, better than store-bought tomatoes, but pretty much any homegrown tomato is that. So, all right. I would recommend them. Um, now, one of my viewers, um, he was telling me about Orange Hat and how he preferred the taste of that. Um, that tomato grows a little bit bigger. It grows to about 10 inches tall. So that's uh, what I think I'll try next time that we... Uh, grow some in the arrow garden so um i'm going to get seeds out of this one so let me cut into that show you how we do that basically you're just going to cut into that tomato any way you want to really and then we're just going to squeeze and get those seeds and the surrounding jelly substance out with them so and then what we'll do um is put this in a container. I'm going to put it in a, a mason jar. And she's got more seeds in here than I thought. That's quite a bit. Um, yeah, not bad. Okay. So you're going to eat the rest of that. Um, and then a few more on this side. So... Get those out. So yeah, we're gonna um, collect all these seeds, the jelly and all, and then we're, I'm gonna put these in a mason jar, and we're basically just gonna let that ferment at room temperature. It can take a couple of days, sometimes as much as four or five. And you'll start seeing mold forming. That's when you know the fermentation's going well. And then uh, after we've got that going well, then we're going to rinse the seeds and um, put them on a uh, paper towel or a uh, coffee filter and let them dry out make sure they're thoroughly dry and then those seeds will be good to save probably for quite a few years so I'll, I'll um, show you that process uh, we'll put these in the jar and I'll show you that but but I'll show you once they start fermenting and we're going to clean them and and dry them I'll show you that Okay, so I have all my seeds here. I'm going to go ahead and put those in a jar. So now we have put the seeds in a jar. I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of water in here, just enough to cover these seeds and the gel. And now, got a little water in there. We're just going to lightly cover this with a paper towel and we're just going to let that sit for a few days so on the next video i'll show you how to finish up this process well guys thanks for joining me on get your wellies uh i hope this has intrigued you i hope this has uh inspired you to maybe try some tomatoes in the house this one is okay. Um, you might want to try the orange hat, but I'm going to finish up with this one and I will see you on the next video. Until then, bye now.